Bard is out and Gemini AI is in. In today's video, I'll be going over the newly released Gemini AI. We'll be taking a first look at the newly improved AI. We'll be generating some outputs, writing some blog posts, and see how the content compares to ChatGPT. So let's go ahead and get started. Once you sign up for Gemini, this is what it looks like. There's two models. You have Gemini, the regular version, and then you have the advanced version. If you want to sign up, I'll leave a link for the trial in the description below today's video. But as you can see, it looks like a traditional chat box, but there's a couple of unique things to Gemini that we don't have in other chat boxes like ChatGPT. Like most chat boxes, you can get started by entering your prompt and then the AI will give you your results based upon your inputs. But as we can see here, if we scroll down, there's a couple of unique things that we have on Gemini. So for example, we can double check the response with Google. So that means we can fact check our content based upon Google's recommendation for that specific content. So Google will go ahead, it will read that information and it will let you know how accurate or up to date that answer is. So we can see here, if we scroll over, we can expand and we can see exactly where Google was able to gather that information from. And then you can actually fact check to see if your information is correct. So this is a great way for you to make sure that the output to which you're getting back from your AI is actually factual and up to date. So that's something new that's available in Gemini that wasn't included in BARD and it's not included in other AI tools like ChatGPT. And if you click on modify response, we have the ability to shorten the response, make it longer, make it simpler, make it more casual or more professional. So let's say, for example, we wanted to make it more shorter. We can hit that feature. And as you can see here, the output will be a lot shorter. So there's a couple of new, unique and fun features included in Gemini that we don't have in other AI chat boxes. From first glance and from playing around with Gemini, I got to say it's really, really good and very impressive. So now let's go ahead and generate a full article using the same prompts that I would use on ChatGPT to see how the output quality would compare to ChatGPT. So first I'm going to enter my system prompt and you can find all of my prompts in the description below, but essentially the system prompt will tell the AI how to write in more SEO optimized format. So once I enter the prompt, I then ask the AI if you understand yes or no. And as you can see here, it's going to go ahead and read those instructions and then it should say yes, it understands and it's going to give a summary of those instructions. Now that it's primed for SEO writing, I've went ahead and pasted in my prompt for generating high quality SEO optimized outlines. And again, you can find this prompt in the description below. And for this example, we'll be writing an article about AI in accounting. So let's go ahead and enter this prompt and we should get an outline first. And then based upon that outline, we will then generate a full article. So here's the blog post outline title AI in accounting H1 understanding AI in accounting H2 H1 again, how AI is transforming accounting task impact of AI on accounting jobs, getting started with AI in accounting, some of the top AI tools and softwares for accounting. And then we get a conclusion. Overall, I would say that this is a pretty decent output not much to really separate ChatGPT and Gemini when it comes to just a simple output, but let's go ahead and generate the full article and see how that compares. So again, I'm going to be using my famous prompt to generate the full article. I'm going to tell it to write each section individually, start with the first section, which is the intro, and then generate the full article. And then I'm also going to tell it to include high authority websites throughout the article as sources to see if it actually can understand live links. And we're going to tell it to write the full article. So let's go ahead and generate the full article and I'll come back once that article is finished and we'll take a look at it. So it is writing the article. And as you can see here, we do get a link to a software and that link is working. So that's a good sign that Gemini can actually understand and read live links. Okay. So this is the full article in which we're able to get back here. Let's quickly do a word count to see how long this article was. So it's about 1300 words, which isn't bad by any means. We can always go ahead and tell it to expand the article if we would like some more words. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go ahead and test this for AI content. So let's see how Gemini compares to other AI tools when it comes to AI detection score. So I'm using originality.ai. We're going to go ahead and paste in the new content. And let's scan now. We are using the latest model of originality.ai. Unfortunately, in terms of AI detection, Gemini is still being detected as AI. It is 98% AI detected and only 2% original. So right now, Gemini does not pass AI detection in its native uh, way that it speaks. But maybe if you prompt it in the right way, it will be able to bypass AI detectors. But that's going to be for another video. 
here's the full article that we get back from gemini it is a pretty decent output of 1300 words it is well formatted and it talks about the topic in depth so it talks about what is ai in accounting why is it important um, some tools and it actually went ahead and included some links here so i think gemini is going to be a lot better when it comes to links because it's connected to google so we'll be able to read those links a lot easier you'll be able to enter links um, a lot easier and be able to get outputs from those links using gemini compared to ChatGPT because ChatGPT right now is not the greatest when it comes to links and the live web but i think that's where gemini is going to have a much better advantage is because it's going to be connected to the live internet because of course it's built by google so for example here we see that they've included a couple different um different links to different tools and they're all live links and even when they entered a broken link it knew that that link was broken and it removed that link so again if you're looking to include high quality external links then gemini might be a better option for you compared to chat gpt but there really wasn't anything else that really stood out to me that was a lot better than um, chat gpt or gpt4 turbo granted this is much better than bard in my opinion it's much more easier to use much more intuitive and i like the ability to double check your responses and i also like the ability to shorten or make your responses longer or more casual you also have the ability to upload images so you can upload images and then uh, gemini will be able to read those images you can use the microphone if you don't want to type you can actually use the microphone and enter your prompts of course it doesn't have apps and some of the other features included in chat gpt but it does have access to live data so it can access up-to-date live information through the internet for example, I asked it what is today's date and it was able to tell me what date it is and what day it is of the week. So that means you can access the live web using Gemini and you can use that information within your research and within your article creation. So there's definitely some pros and advantages of using Gemini compared to ChatGPT, but I'll be doing a full in-depth video tomorrow on a comparison between the two. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this first walkthrough of Gemini. I think it's really, really promising, way better than Bard, and probably going to be one of the only competitors that can actually beat ChatGPT in the years to come. Hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.